Let's go. The combat in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is a huge improvement on its predecessor, but it can also be quite overwhelming, especially for new players. Each main character has quite a unique playstyle. Knowing the basic mechanic and mastering their ability combos is essential to enjoy the game. Hello gamers, this is Xing. In this series, I will walk you through the details of each character's combos and abilities to help you take on the most challenging fight in this game. And today, we will be talking about Tifa. So, let's begin. <laughs> Come on, soldier. You can do better than that, can't you? Press square button repeatedly to use Tifa's basic combos. You only need to press square three times at certain points to execute the entire combo at Chi level 1. So try not to mash the button. A basic combo starts with a few quick punches and ends with a kick. From there, you can loop back into the combo itself. This is especially good for close combat to build up ATB gauge. Holding down square, however, Tifa will follow up her first light punch with a powerful uppercut and end the combo. This attack boosts up a large amount of ATB gauge when it lands on target. Tifa is good at close combat, so mastering her gap closer is a must. Press circle button is dodge. This is used to dodge away from enemy's attack. But if you quickly press square after dodging, Tifa will perform her gap closer. And depending on which direction you are dodging towards, the gap closer will be different. Dodging away from the enemy, press square, Tifa will dash back to the enemy with a light punch. And from there, you can loop back to her basic combos. Dodging into the enemy, however, if Tifa gets into the enemy's hit zone, she will perform a sweeping kick. You can then follow up with holding down square or press triangle for uppercut to launch them into air. Each character has a unique attack that can be executed by pressing triangle. Tifa's unique attack is warding uppercut at Chi level 1. She will charge her attack and launch her uppercut before landing back on the ground. So, what is Chi level? This is where we need to introduce her first weapon ability, Unbridled Strength. Once Tifa has at least one bar of ATB gauge, use Unbridled Strength. Tifa will be upgraded to Chi level 2, indicated by her gloves glowing yellow. From here, her basic combos can be extended by two additional square inputs. The unique attack at Chi level 2 will become Omni Strike, a charged up shoulder tackle. This attack will consume Tifa's chi level by 1. If you use Unbridled Strength again at chi level 2, Tifa will reach chi level 3, which is the highest level, indicated by her gloves glowing red. Her basic combo can be extended by another two additional square inputs. Her unique attack will also become Rise and Fall, a powerful flurry kicks and punch combo. Now here is a bit more advanced tip. Just like a fighting game, you can cancel out certain animation with other combat input. For example, at the end of Tifa's Chi level 1 triangle attack, she will land back to the ground. There will be half a second before you can do another attack. You can cancel out the landing part with a circle input to dodge. Right after the dodge, you can press square for her sweeping kick. From here, you can loop back to the upper card with a triangle, so this will give you a very nice infinite combo to deal with a small group of enemies. Additionally, you can also cancel out the start of whirling uppercut entirely with a dodge. And the whirling uppercut can cancel the stand-up animation after dodge. So, you can basically press triangle and circle in quick succession to do a very fast dodge maneuver. Now, let's talk about Tifa's aerial combos. Tifa's weapon ability Reverse Scale can be accessed from Chapter 3. This ability will launch her into the air, and from there you can do the basic square combos. When the enemy drops down or staggers, you can also press down square. Tifa will slam her fist down to land. 
Additionally, using reverse scale in the air will also land Tifa and go back to ground combos. Another way to get Tifa into the air is to use the offensive synergy skills. You can unlock the synergy skill Leaping Strike at party level 2. To use Soaring Flurry synergy skill, press R1 to guard and square. This is best used when the enemy is in the air but far away from Tifa. To use the Heavenly Ascent synergy skill, press R1 to guard and triangle. This is best used when the enemy is right above us. Although Tifa is not specialized in aerial combat, staggering enemy from the air and slamming down with a powerful punch is also a fun way to play. So, the main idea of Final Fantasy VII combat is to build up a stagger meter. When the enemy is staggered, they will take increased damage. Each enemy has different criteria to be staggered, and all the characters will have similar tools in their arsenal to meet the criteria. Same as Tifa. Press R2 to guard, but guarding right before you get hit will perform a perfect guard. Perfect guard will nullify any damage you are about to take. And you can then follow up with square or triangle to punish. However, one of the best tools for Tifa to build up a stagger has to be the weapon ability Focused Strike. Tifa will jump backwards and quickly launch herself back to the enemy for a charged attack and increase stagger. This is best used right before enemy hits you. The back step will perfectly evade attack and potentially pressure the enemy to be more easily staggered. Now once the enemy is staggered, this is where Tifa really shines. Her weapon ability Dive Kick is her highest damage ability. Her unique attacks will increase the percentage of damage the enemy will take during stagger. So if you go into a stagger phase with Tifa at Chi level 3, use Rise and Fall, Omni Strike, and the Whirling Uppercut in sequence is one of the best ways to boost up damage. And at the last uppercut, Tifa will be launched into the air. It's the best time to combo in Dive Kick straight away for the final hit. Knowing this combo, you will want to start save up ATB gauge right before the enemy about to go into stagger. There is enough time to use unbridled strength during stagger, so you can start the combo from Chi level 3. When facing off powerful enemies, synergy abilities plays an essential role. Once Tifa and another party member have consumed at least 3 ATB bars, you can start to use synergy abilities for different effects. This is indicated by the small blue pipes under your ATB gauge. Pair with Cloud for Relentless Rush on staggered enemies will increase stagger time and boost up attack power. Pair with Aerith for Divine Punishment will level up Limit Break levels to level 2. The limit break level is indicated by another small yellow pipe next to the limit break bar. And Tifa's limit break level 2 is Dolphin Flurry, a physical attack that hits enemy for significant damage with beautiful animations. Now there you have it. This is how Tifa's combat works in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. If you find this video useful, why not check out other guys on the channel? Remember to leave a like and subscribe for more content gaming. Thanks for watching and see you next time.